practice exercise 4 of time speed distance funda book let's go through the questions question 22 a and b can do a piece of work in 10 days b and c in 15 days a and c in 25 days they all work together for 4 days a then leaves b and c go together for 5 days more and then b leaves and how many more days will c complete the work remaining work okay. so effectively what the situation is for the first 4 days 0 days to 4 days okay. for the first 4 days a b and c all of them work after which a leaves and b and c go on together for 5 more days so b and c work together for 5 more days so that means 9 days from 4 to 9 so there are 5 days more a has left so this b and c alone are working okay. and then c alone works and we need to find how many days will c take alone to finish the remaining work okay. now before that we know that a plus b can do a piece of work in 10 days let me write it down on top a plus b can do a piece of work in 10 days b plus c can do the same piece of work in 15 days and a plus c can finish the same piece of work in 25 days so in this question let me assume the amount of work to be lcm of 10 15 and 25 these are the days which are mentioned out here so lcm of 10 25 and 50 would be 75 Sorry, 150, 75 into 2, 150. If, so, let me assume the amount of work to be 150 units. That means A plus B together will be doing 15 units per day. B plus C will do 10 units per day. And A plus C finish the work in 25 days. So, A plus C will do uh, 6 units per day. So if I add all three of them I will get twice into A plus B plus C and the amount of work would be 15 plus 10 25 plus 6 31 units. Okay. So I can say that A plus B plus C in two days will be able to do 35 units of work or I can say A plus B plus C will do 15.5 units of work per day. So, A plus B plus C do 15.5 units of work per day. Now, in this question, we have assumed the amount of work to be 150 units. And why 150? Because it is LCM of 10, 15 and 25. This ensures we don't get stuck with decimals or fractions anywhere. So, for the first 4 days, A, B and C were working together. So, in 4 days, they would have done 15.5 into 4, 62 units of work. So, 62 units of work was done in the first 4 days. Next 5 days, B and C work together. So, we can say, look at this. B and C, or other here. B and C do work at the rate of 10 units per day. So, they have worked for 5 days. So, 5 into 10, they have done 50 units of work. Total work is 150 units. Out of it, 62 plus 50, 112 units have been consumed by in the first 9 days 112 units have gone so the amount of work that c has to do alone will be 150 minus 112 which is 38 units so c does 38 units of work alone but at what rate does c work we know that a b and c do 15.5 units of work per day we also know that a and b do 15 units of work per day so, if A and B do 15 units of work per day, A, B and C do 15.5 units of work per day, this implies the difference between the two is C, he will do 0 0.5 units of work per day. And how much work does he need to do? He needs to do 38 units. So, he will take 32 upon 0 0.5, which I am sorry, 38 units, 38 upon 0 0.5, which is equal to 38 into 2, which is equal to 76 days. Among the choices, choice A is the correct answer.